telescope has captured unprecedented pictures of a newly discovered exoplanet. So what's an exoplanet, you ask? That is a planet that is outside our solar system. An object older than Earth has just entered our solar system. Elon Musk tried to intercept it. No cameras, no live stream, no official payload. Hours later, Earth's magnetic field spiked. Telescopes picked up strange new emissions, and SpaceX went silent. This wasn't just another rocket launch. It was a mission cloaked in secrecy, chasing something that doesn't belong here. Astronomers call it 3i slash ATLAS, the third interstellar visitor ever detected, moving too fast to be natural and far too strange to ignore. So, what exactly did Musk send after it? Why did official channels go quiet right after? And most importantly, what did SpaceX find out there that we're not being told? The story of 3i slash ATLAS begins in July 2025, when astronomers at the ATLAS Survey Telescope in Hawaii noticed something unusual. It appeared faint at first, just another fast-moving speck among countless points of light. But its orbit betrayed its origin. This was not a body tied to the sun. Its path was hyperbolic, meaning it was on a one-way trip through our solar system, never to return. The object received its designation, 3i slash ATLAS. The third confirmed interstellar visitor after Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. The numbers stunned scientists. The object was traveling at over 130,000 miles per hour, far faster than anything bound to the gravitational grip of our system. It was a cosmic passerby, cutting through our neighborhood before vanishing back into interstellar space. And because of its speed, the opportunity to study it was brief. Once it rounded the sun, it would slingshot away forever. There would be no second chance. The interstellar objects like this are not just curiosities. They are messengers from other star systems, fragments left behind during the birth of alien suns and planets. Locked inside them may be exotic chemicals, strange ices, or even the building blocks of life forged under conditions entirely unlike our own. To study one up close is to hold a piece of galactic history, older than Earth itself. Some scientists even suggest these visitors may explain how life spread across the galaxy, carrying organic molecules from system to system. That alone would be enough to spark global fascination. But this time, the story didn't end with telescopes. Elon Musk's attention turned toward ATLAS almost immediately. For years, Musk had positioned SpaceX as more than just a launch provider. His vision was interplanetary, his ambitions tied to ensuring humanity's survival among the stars. The arrival of a third interstellar visitor wasn't simply an astronomical curiosity. It was an opportunity, and one Musk refused to let slip away. Inside SpaceX, the alert came swiftly. Engineers and mission planners knew that intercepting such an object would be extraordinarily difficult, perhaps impossible with current technology. But Musk wasn't interested in observing from a distance. To him, telescopic data wasn't enough. The only way to truly know what Atlas carried was to reach it directly. As one insider put it, the object was like a gift from another solar system, one that humanity might never see again if it wasn't seized. The stakes were staggering. If SpaceX succeeded, it would be the first human attempt to physically interact with an interstellar object. It could open the door to discoveries that reframe our understanding of life, of chemistry, even of the possibility of alien engineering. But if it failed, it would still mark a daring new chapter in human ambition, proof that we are no longer content to watch from afar. Musk reportedly framed it simply. Interstellar visitors are the only free samples we'll ever get of other worlds. If we wait, we lose them. If we act, we risk everything. Intercepting 3, I slash ATLAS, was a problem unlike any Musk or SpaceX had ever faced. It wasn't a question of launching into orbit or ferrying satellites to geostationary positions. This was an object hurtling through the solar system at speeds beyond comprehension. To meet it required precision that bordered on the impossible. Imagine trying to fire a dart at a bullet while both are traveling thousands of times faster than sound. That was the scale of difficulty. The Falcon 9, SpaceX's workhorse rocket, wasn't designed for this kind of pursuit. Its missions normally involved predictable orbits or carefully planned transfers to Mars trajectories. Atlas was different. It demanded a trajectory correction so sharp, so unforgiving, that even NASA would have hesitated. Worse, the timeline wasn't generous. The intercept window was measured in weeks, not years. Miss it, and the object would be gone forever. SpaceX engineers worked feverishly, running calculations and simulations that strained even their most advanced systems. Ideas were floated and discarded in rapid succession. A cluster of microprobes could be deployed, each one increasing the odds that at least one made contact. 
swarms of interceptors were considered, along with dust collectors designed to scrape particles from the object's halo as it passed. Each option came with its own set of impossible odds and staggering risks. Yet Musk remained adamant. There would be no waiting, no delay, no playing it safe. Humanity had been gifted a visitor from beyond the stars, and this was the chance to reach for it. Then, in early August, something strange happened. A Falcon 9 launch appeared on the schedule, but unlike all others before it, there was no listed payload, there was no live stream, no official announcement, and no fanfare. The rocket lifted off in silence. Amateur satellite trackers were the first to notice the anomaly. The rocket's trajectory didn't match standard orbital missions. Instead, it pointed outward, toward deep space. Rumors spread instantly. Was this a classified military mission, or was it the long-whispered attempt to chase down 3I-ATLAS? SpaceX offered no answers. Musk stayed silent. But one thing was undeniable. The mission was real, and what followed would defy explanation. The first signs that something unusual had happened did not come from SpaceX itself, but from Earth. In the hours after the mysterious Falcon 9 launch, magnetometers around the world recorded a sudden, unexplained spike in Earth's magnetic field. It was brief, but it stood out clearly against the usual background noise. At NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, the anomaly was logged quietly, without press releases or public comment. Yet the timing was impossible to ignore. The spike coincided almost exactly with the window in which Musk's payload would have crossed paths with 3I-ATLAS. If the launch had simply been a classified military operation, why would Earth's magnetic field have reacted? The coincidence fueled whispers that something had indeed occurred between the Falcon 9 probe and the interstellar visitor. As astronomers continued to track ATLAS, more anomalies surfaced. The object's coma, the halo of gas and dust surrounding it, suddenly brightened in a way that did not match expected models. Its glow increased rapidly, baffling observers who had predicted a steadier, more predictable behavior. Even stranger, spectrographs revealed new chemical signatures within the light spectrum. These weren't common molecules easily explained by outgassing. Some appeared unusual, rarely, if ever, seen before in cometary activity. Scientists offered cautious explanations. Perhaps ATLAS's crust had fractured, releasing buried compounds into space. But others noted the timing once again. The brightening occurred just as SpaceX's classified payload would have intersected its path. The possibility that a probe had impacted the object, releasing new material, was impossible to dismiss. Then came the silence. Every Falcon 9 mission is tracked obsessively. Telemetry signals, uplinks, even radio bursts picked up by amateur enthusiasts. Yet after the intercept window, all traces of the payload vanished. Telemetry ceased, communication links dropped, and no signals were confirmed. For some, this looked like a failure, a loss of contact with a probe sent too far into deep space. For others, it was something more deliberate, a rerouting of signals into military channels, away from public scrutiny. SpaceX itself offered no clarification. The company's usually transparent social media feeds remained quiet. Musk himself broke silence only once, posting a cryptic message. Sometimes the truth is just outside escape velocity. To his millions of followers, it was both a taunt and an enigma. What truth was he hinting at? Even more unsettling was what astronomers began reporting in the days that followed. A TLAS's light curve, the measured brightness of the object over time, developed a regular, periodic pattern. Every 17 minutes, its brightness shifted, pulsing in a way that resembled a ticking clock. It was not random. It was consistent, measurable, and completely unexpected. The echoes of Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor, returned instantly. That earlier object had displayed unexplained accelerations that some argued could not be fully explained by natural means. Now, Atlas was showing its own anomaly, one more precise and more difficult to dismiss. The 17-minute cycle was unlike anything seen in comets or asteroids. Theories began to diverge. NASA officials leaned heavily on conventional explanations, insisting that the changes were the result of natural cometary activity. They suggested that outgassing jets could explain both the brightening and the periodic variations in brightness. Yet the arguments sounded defensive, almost rehearsed. Not all scientists agreed. Avi Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist who had already stirred controversy by suggesting Oumuamua might have been of artificial origin, stepped into the debate once more. 
He argued that the 17-minute pulses looked like evidence of controlled activity, signals of guidance, perhaps even design. This clash of theories only deepened the mystery. Was Atlas a natural fragment of an alien solar system? Or was it something more? The evidence didn't provide clear answers, but it raised questions that no one seemed willing to confront directly. With SpaceX silent, NASA evasive, and independent astronomers divided, the truth about what happened at the intercept point remained hidden. All that was certain was this. ATLAS was no longer behaving like an ordinary visitor. Something had changed, and whether by coincidence or by contact, humanity had crossed a line it could not uncross. In the days following the silent Falcon 9 launch, a fog of secrecy settled over the entire event. Normally, even classified missions leave behind scraps of data, launch manifests, tracking records, or at least the acknowledgement of an orbital insertion. This time, however, the trail went cold. Mentions of the launch quietly vanished from online databases where amateur observers normally archive them. Reports of its trajectory disappeared from publicly accessible channels. It was as if the mission had been erased in real time. Insiders began to whisper that the data had not been lost at all, but intentionally diverted. According to leaked accounts, telemetry streams and sensor readings were transferred directly to military servers, placed under classified access. If true, that meant whatever the probe encountered was no longer just a SpaceX matter. It had become the property of national defense. Once that happens, the information is effectively sealed. The public is left with rumors, speculation, and silence. That didn't stop whispers from spreading. Some claimed that SpaceX's probe managed a partial success. It may not have struck the object directly, but it could have skimmed its halo, collecting microscopic dust particles in passing. Even a handful of such grains would be revolutionary. They would represent the first tangible material ever retrieved from another solar system. If those samples existed, they would be under the tightest non-disclosure agreements in existence, studied quietly in laboratories where no independent verification would ever be possible. Musk himself did little to calm speculation. At a technology summit weeks later, he was asked about the object. He gave a characteristically evasive answer. Let's just say we learned a lot. It was the kind of remark that fueled more questions than it answered. Had they truly intercepted it? What was learned? Why wouldn't he say more? Meanwhile, the global response was immediate. The European Space Agency quietly shifted telescope time to track ATLAS more closely. NASA reallocated assets, even as it publicly downplayed the event. In China, orbital resources were redirected to monitor the visitor, suggesting their military planners saw more than just a comet. Strategic discussions even touched on a concept once dismissed as science fiction, planetary defense against interstellar intruders. Beyond the scientific and military circles, the discovery resonated with historians and anthropologists. They pointed out how ancient civilizations had often aligned temples and monuments with comets and strange celestial visitors. Sites like Gobekli Tepe and Machu Picchu carried echoes of sky-watching traditions that stretched back thousands of years. Had humanity encountered such visitors before? Were these objects merely natural wonders? Or had ancient people witnessed something far stranger? Speculation spread like wildfire, because in the silence left by SpaceX and government agencies, the void was filled with imagination. And the more officials refused to speak, the more people believed there was something worth hiding. The encounter with 3 i slash a -T -L -A -S marked a turning point in humanity's relationship with the cosmos. Before its arrival, we were observers, peering through telescopes and sending out the occasional probe toward predictable, familiar bodies. We measured from a distance content to let the universe pass us by. After ATLAS, that paradigm shifted. For the first time, humanity attempted to meet an interstellar visitor directly to close the gap between observer and participant. Even if the mission achieved only partial success, the implications are immense. A few grains of dust captured from the halo of an interstellar object could rewrite our understanding of life's origins. If those grains contain organic compounds unfamiliar to Earth, they would strengthen the argument that the ingredients of life are scattered throughout the galaxy. The theory of panspermia, that life can spread from star to star on wandering fragments, would move from speculation toward evidence. The more provocative possibility is that ATLAS was not entirely natural. 
The 17-minute pulses and its brightness still linger in scientific debate. If they were the result of natural processes, then A-T-L-A-S remains a mysterious but explainable wanderer. But if those pulses turn out to be something else, an artifact of engineering, a signal of control, then the history of humanity has already changed. The first evidence of alien technology may not be hidden in a distant galaxy, but passing directly through our solar system. Musk, characteristically restless, has already turned to the future. Reports suggest he is advocating for the development of fast-response interceptors, probes that could be launched within weeks, designed specifically to pursue the next interstellar visitor. Such a system would mark the beginning of a new space doctrine, one shared quietly among global agencies. NASA, ESA, and China are all believed to be considering similar programs, knowing the universe will not wait for bureaucratic timelines. For the first time, we did more than just watch. We reached into the unknown, and something, whether natural or not, reached back. The line between speculation and reality has blurred. Humanity is no longer a passive witness. We are participants in a galactic story just beginning to unfold. So what really happened when Elon Musk's probe crossed paths with 3 i slash a t l a s Was it just a comet behaving strangely? Or did humanity's first attempt at engagement awaken something far greater? For now, the truth lies buried in classified files and encrypted servers. But one fact is undeniable. This was not the end of the story. Another interstellar visitor will come, and when it does, we won't just watch from a distance. We'll be ready. The question is, ready for what?